Recently, I got a question in my comments stating that they had just became a member of Navy Federal and now they're wanting to apply for the Navy Federal flagship, but their credit score was, I want to say in the mid 600s and they were asking me, what did I suggest? And y'all, I was just like, I started typing because I'm like, I could type a book on this. And I did message him back, but I thought this would be a great video. In this video, we're going to talk about if I just joined Navy Federal, what would be my strategy? <laughs> Let's get into it. Hey, everybody. I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group, where we believe small changes can create big results. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We talk about credit, budgeting, and student loans. Well, y'all, <laughs> when I got this comment... I could have wrote a whole book on it because I'm just like, I know how I was when I joined Navy Federal. So I had joined Navy Federal 2019. I want to say it was the end of the year, 2019. And originally when I joined, I said, well, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to just apply for a credit card at that time. And y'all, I ended up applying for a credit card. I wasn't depositing any money in my savings account, my checking account or anything so when i applied i thought i was gonna get this high limit and <laughs> y'all i only got like barely seven thousand dollars so when he had put his comment in and he was telling me i was like "Ooh, i don't know i think i would wait but i hate to tell somebody not to go ahead and apply because i know like for myself when i want to apply for a credit card i would just apply for it <laughs> but i was like if i think i would have had a different strategy when i had became a member of navy federal and so that's kind of where i wanted to lead with that opposed to just saying apply or don't apply so I thought that we would discuss it in this video. So let me know, when you joined Navy Federal, did you go ahead and apply for credit cards, auto loans, or personal loans, or did you kind of wait a little bit? <laughs> and if you did apply for a credit card, do you feel like you got a high limit? Because he said that he had went on and applied because what I told him, I said, well, you can do the pre-qualification to see if you qualify for the credit card because we know with navy federal the navy federal flagship credit card that's their premier credit card and you really have to have you know good to above average or really above average credit score to get it and he stated that his credit score was in the mid 600 650 somewhere off in there so i was just like well i don't know so that's why you should do the pre-qualification. And I know for myself, when I had applied, I don't even think I had checked my credit score, but I knew that it was good. So I had just went ahead. I think at the time, mine was maybe like over a 700. So I just went ahead and applied. At that time, I had already applied for other credit cards outside of Navy Federal. I want to say I had applied for the Chase Marriott Bonvoy. And then I had applied for the Navy Federal flagship. And then I think I might have got the Chase ISG. But that's how it was around that time. And so with me only getting $7,000, barely $7,000, I'm just like, ah, I don't know. I think I will wait. <laughs> now, here's the second piece to it. When I had joined Navy Federal, my main bank was Bank of America because I was depositing all of my money in Bank of America and I had two credit cards with Bank of America because, you know, it's very convenient because there's a Bank of America on every corner. So at that time, and then I had been with Bank of America probably like 16, 17 years by that point. And so that was my main bank. And then with Navy Federal being way out, it wasn't as easy for me to deposit money in my account. So I wasn't really putting money. I wasn't putting any money in at that time. But y'all know Bank of America ended up making me mad because they had ended up closing one of my credit cards. And so what happened probably six to eight months later, maybe six months or so, Bank of America closed my credit card. So then first what I did, I stopped my direct deposit with Bank of America and moved my direct deposit over to Navy Federal. So I started depositing money into my checking account. I started putting money into my savings account. And probably maybe a year after I had joined Navy Federal, I had got the auto loan with Navy Federal 
and I had got the lowest interest rate of 2.19%. And while I thought my credit score was higher, my credit score was only like a 681 and I was still able to get the lowest interest rate. Then a few months later, after that, Bank of America closed my second credit card. So I ended up closing my Bank of America account and then putting all of my money over to my Navy Federal. So at this point, I had already had the Navy Federal flagship for maybe a year. I was depositing money in all of my accounts. And then with my credit card, it was in good standings because I was paying the card off every month. Then I got the auto loan and that was in good standings. So then a few months later, I had applied for the Navy Federal More Rewards credit card. And y'all, this is when Navy Federal really hooked the sister up and I was approved for $25,000. So I was just like, whoa, I got $25,000 this time. But when you think about it, you know, I had the different products and services at this point, And plus I'm depositing money into my account. And so for me, even though I don't have my Navy Federal internal score, but I would say by this time, my Navy Federal internal score was probably good compared to when I had first joined. I probably didn't have a good internal score because I really wasn't building a relationship with them. And so I would say Navy Federal is more of a relationship type credit union to where you want to make sure you're depositing money. You want to make sure that your accounts are in good standings. Because if you think about it, even with the cash rewards credit card right now, if you are doing direct deposit in your account, you can get 1.75% cash back compared to if you're not depositing money into your account, you only get 1.5%. So you see where depositing money into your account is good. I think what I would do first, if I was to join Navy Federal, I would go ahead and join. I would do direct deposit in my checking account. I would put money into my savings account. I would maybe wait three months or so. Then I would do the pre-qualification to see which credit card I would be eligible for. I think I would still probably apply for the Navy Federal flagship. If I was qualified to apply for that one, I think I would still go for that one first and then do it that way so that I'm building a good relationship with Navy Federal. I don't think I would just jump into applying for credit cards with Navy Federal. Also, when my sister joined Navy Federal, probably the same day she had applied for the auto loan and see, when she applied, she had to send in additional information for her auto loan compared to when I applied. Now, when I applied for my auto loan with Navy Federal, although I had to go into review and I was approved maybe like 10 or 12 hours later the next day, I didn't have to send any information in. But see, she, even though you know she had became a member, she had to send in additional information. So I would say they're not able to see where your patterns are and things of that nature and your internal score is probably low. And so that's why she had to send in information compared to me. So I think it's best to establish that relationship with Navy Federal first before just applying for credit cards. <laughs> but let me know what you think. But it is funny because he ended up messaging me back and said that he just went ahead and applied. And, you know, I think, you know, I think that's cool. You know, do what's good for you because like for myself, like if there was a credit card that I wanted to apply for, I would just apply for it. But I think now when I look back, I think I would have did it a little bit differently. <laughs> but let me know in the comments, you applied for a Navy Federal credit card and you had just joined. Did you get a high limit? or not <laughs> let us know in the comments please like subscribe share with a friend turn your notification bell on so you will be the first to be notified when new content drops i thank you so much for watching until next time it's not a game, it's a